Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel for another Warzone video. Now, guys, today we are in season four. Technically, I'm still in the past in season three. That's because this video is pre-recorded. If you guys haven't tuned into some of the videos this past week, you guys wouldn't know that I'm actually on a little bit of vacation right now. So I'm not going to be here for the first couple of days of season four. Now, hopefully, hopefully, these guns that I mentioned do not get changed, like nerfed or buffed or anything like that. Because if that's the case, then this might be a completely different story. Fingers crossed, man. But today, I'm going to be giving you guys my five best class setups in my personal opinion right now to use in warzone your guys opinion might be different and that's completely okay it's not like season one where the dmr mac 10 and stuff like that were obviously like literally the best guns in the game but since the meta is extremely open right now there is a lot of guns that people can use at the moment i've only done one other video like this and it's almost at 100,000 views so you guys definitely seem to like these type of videos where i showcase a lot of class setups that you guys can use in one singular video definitely be sure to hit the like button if you guys want to see more of these in the future because it's a nice simple video to do and there's a fair high demand for it so honestly it's like a perfect video to do for a new season also man here's a post notification shout out up on the screen if you guys do want to win one of these in a future video make sure you guys are sub to the channel with the post notification bell turned on and once you guys are finished comment down below hashtag bell game now as i said since this video is being recorded in season three hopefully that these guns don't get changed and they're still the same in season four which would probably still be at that point my top five again now you guys know starting off we have to go with the amax man now i probably sound like a broken record at this point giving you guys this amax class setup over and over again but it quite literally is the best amax class setup and no other attachments will actually beat this full entire one so basically starting off where we have the mono suppressor the xrk zodiac barrel the commando forgot 45 round mag and the vlk 3.0 optic now this is a pretty standard class setup across all modern warfare ars now the only thing with this gun is that the amax recently has gotten nerfed two times now it still stood strong it's still it's still the best um ar just all around in general in my personal opinion when it comes to wars as a whole including the cold war guns too i literally still rock this in every other gameplay i literally rock this in every gameplay still but don't get me wrong there's still some other modern warfare ars that are definitely right behind it now you guys probably guessed it yes the ram 7 now the ram 7 is actually a very good gun right behind the amax it actually has the fastest bullet velocity across all the ars which is what i was told in my comments apparently i was wrong about that one time and everybody was coming at my neck but apparently it has the fastest bullet velocity out of all the ars its damage is iffy you know what i'm saying it could be a little bit inconsistent at sometimes but in general man we're going to be building what seems to be the best class setup now it'll look very similar to the amax don't get me wrong we have the mono suppressor right here the fss ranger for damage range bullet velocity and vertical recoil control additionally the commando foregrip for more aiming stability recoil stabilization and stuff like that the 50 round mag as well is definitely something that you're going to want to go with and last but not least you guys probably guessed the man the vlk 3.0 optic it's just something about the ram 7 iron sights that just really are not good just in general another simple build right here but just Judging by statistics, the Ram 7 is in the top five most popular guns used in Warzone right now. So it, this thing, this gun's definitely a tank, man, but it's right behind the AMAX in my opinion. Statistically, this gun is in the top five most used guns in Warzone right now. But as I said, like in my personal opinion, it's right behind the AMAX. I would still choose the AMAX over this any day, but Ram 7, 100% a close second. Don't get me wrong. Now for the next two, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a combo. Now this is pretty much like a full loadout and you guys have probably been seeing me use this a lot recently, which is the Bullfrog paired up with the car and that is because the bullfrog is one of the best sniper support weapons in the game right now not only that but it is just an incredibly good smg in general so starting off with the bullfrog man this is kind of what i'm running here the gru suppressor 7.4 task force barrel tiger team spotlight the bruiser grip as well as the kgb skeletal stock now i'm actually going to try out the regular sound suppressor at some point i have yet to do that it's a little bit different than the gru as you guys can tell but this got changed just about like a few weeks ago so i still have yet to try this out on a lot of guns as of right now though that is definitely what i'm running on this bullfrog right here you know what i'm saying it's just a perfect sniper support weapon and just a great smg in general one of but definitely top like three best smgs in the game right now for sure and then to go along with that we have the car now the car has grown on me a lot i never used to use this gun i really never used to snipe in general but ever since i started playing solos a lot more and even in solo duos and you know what i'm saying party game modes like that i started to use the car a lot more and i'm getting really into sniping man i used to be a huge sniper back in the day when i was a kid like in bo2 and stuff like that so i'm getting back to sniping in warzone but when building this class setup there's pretty much been like one standard class setup across the car since it came out in warzone so we have the mono suppressor right here for sound suppression and damage range we also have the singard custom 27.6 your standard long barrel you definitely got to use this when it comes to a sniper go ahead and put on the tack laser as well for the ads speed mainly but also you get aiming stability and stuff like that it's a sniper so it's 
you know, pretty good. For those long range shots, you're definitely gonna need the sniper scope, man. So just throw that on right away. And then last but not least, we have the STVO precision comp stock. Now you can either use this or the FTC sport comp stock. If you guys are feeling more accuracy, use this. If you guys are feeling more speedy and it obviously it gives you ADS speed. So if you want that, definitely put this on. We're gonna be putting this on this class setup because I have been using the sport comp a lot more than the precision comp. So I'm putting the sport comp on this one. And then last but most definitely not least for our fifth gun here that I personally think is the best in wars and we have the Cold War AK-47. Now this is technically an assault rifle, but if you guys have been kind of keeping up with the pro scene a lot recently, you guys would probably know that this thing has been used as an SMG rather than an AR. And don't get me wrong, this thing is insanely good at close range. It even used to be better at close range before they nerfed some of the Cold War attachments, but the gun still stands the same from when the attachments got nerfed. Pretty much everybody still uses the same thing on this gun. So we're going to take a quick look at it. The 20 inch Spetsnaz RPK, Tiger Team Spotlight, Microflex LED, and the KGB Skeletal Stock along with the 45 round mag. Now, if you guys really do not want to run the Microflex LED, you can probably take this off and throw on the, either the regular suppressor or the GRU suppressor. I saw a lot of people that were very concerned for some reason in the individual video that I made on this gun that I wasn't running a suppressor because a lot of people are, believe it or not, very confused when people don't run in a suppressor on their guns because with the suppressors, obviously you stay off the mini map, but if you're not running this, then you're going to be on the mini map nonstop. Now, when it comes to me, man, I don't really mind being on the mini map because, you know, I rush players a lot, but I also don't really mind the players rush me because I can usually counter that. So players knowing where I am isn't that big of an issue for me. And honestly, I really just do not like the uh, Cold War AK-47 iron sights too much. They seem a little bit beefy to me and just really not ideal for close range gunfights, which is why I use the Microflex LED to kind of have like a clear view of my targets. So I don't really get too bunched up in the iron sights. So yeah, man, my personal top five favorite guns in Warzone right now, the Car 98K Bullfrog, Cold War AK-47, the Ram 7, and the AMAX, man. My top five right now. Um, as I said, this was recorded in Season 3. Who knows? These guns might change in Season 4. We'll have to see, but I'm just going to be uploading this in Season 4 and calling it Season 4 because I feel like it's very, very unlikely that these will actually get touched. If they do, so be it, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless, man. It's always fun doing these type of videos every once in a while. If you guys did enjoy this, definitely be sure to let me know by dropping a like if you guys want more of these in the future as well. And subscribe if you guys are brand new for if you get and subscribe if you guys are brand new for new cod content every single day i hope you guys enjoy season four i'll be back soon man at the setup thank you all so much for tuning in and i'm out peace dropping my show like a boss i'm starting a mosh pit leaving with broke bones 100k on me like hydro count it up audience cover the whole globe sneakers and hear you with astros i got the setup that come from the cosmos i don't need nobody telling me how to flow i just keep stacking these subs like it's quiznos